In this demo we're going to take a look at the other menus. The first one is the cleanup tool. And it's used just to delete items on the drawing, and select it, and I can just highlight or draw a rectangle over all the items I'd like to remove from the drawing. like so. The next menu is the cloud tool. You'll actually see it's turned green when we selected it so we know what, what action will be performed if we click on the screen. Now I'll select the cloud tool. It's for use for inserting a cloud and it'll turn green and we'll put a cloud in this area here. So I'll start just off to the left a bit, hold the mouse and draw a cloud and you can pop as many clouds in as you like. Diagonally is the best way to do them. And then the last, well not the last one, the next one is the add text tool and it will add um, multi-line text. So and then we can actually change the colour of that. And then we just click OK and a message box will, ask, box will ask us where we want to insert it. So we just select it and then wherever we click the text will be entered to the right, like so. Um, also we have in these tools menu we have a ruler which can be used to take a dimension or draw a dimension. Um, and we also have calculate multiple items tool and that can be used for things such as working out joists um, at 450 centers for example so what I'll do I'll allow joists across there so that's the length and it automatically populates the length and then we get the extent will be from there to there and we put in the centers, give the item a name, we select the material, and select calculate, and there's a total of 320 little meters. So we can just save that, and then you could add another one if you like. This is another item here it's a screenshot and it's used to take a snapshot of the work once you're finished so you just click on the blue bar to move this around position it up to the top left of what you want to capture and then stretch it out and then you just save it either as a PDF or save it as a JPEG file I'll save it as a PDF and it'll ask us where we want to save it just save it in there, overwrite that one, and that should save it as the PDF and open it at the same time. And then it's just a basic PDF file which you can zoom in and out. And that is the end of this demo.